first, thank you so much for speaking with me. And more importantly, for what we're going to talk about, thank you so much for doing uh, what you guys are doing for not just the music industry, not just for the Canadian music industry, uh, not just for these Canadian artists, but also because of what we're all going through and we need a distraction. So thank you for what you guys are doing, what we're going to talk about. But I'm going to make a little spin around and ask you, how are you personally holding up through this COVID-19 and all the changes and all the craziness we see either out our windows or on social media? Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it has been pretty crazy. I've been fortunate, though, to be uh, to be employed and secure and safe through this whole thing. Um, and, you know, just really happy to be able to, to work so that I can provide Canadians um, with opportunities like this one. Let's talk about this opportunity because this is really, really cool. It's already going on now, but for folks who don't know what's going on, like I said, um, you guys have set up a stage for a lot of great artists. What is happening right now? Yeah, so we actually started looking on uh, launching a scene music program before we were struck with a pandemic. Obviously, we've had to pivot and make some changes um, with the program. It launched later than we had anticipated and was originally going to be focused much more on live entertainment. Um, you know, we we're trying to come up with some, some creative solutions for people, knowing that uh, that's just not possible right now. Um, but essentially, Scene Music is uh, is a new offering within the Scene program, uh, you know, that will help uh, consumers to engage with um, up-and-coming artists and top talent. There'll be exclusive access for Scene members to uh, to music content and fan experiences, contests, and things like that. Uh, we're launching with a partnership with um, Universal Music Group. And uh, and the rec room as well. They're they're one of the venues that we'll be featuring live acts at, and those live acts will either be uh, streamed online for people to see from comfortably from their home, uh, or or they will be in person you know, when we're allowed to do that. So how does it work? Me as a fan going, this is amazing, which it is. How do I get involved? How does it all work for me? I hear about this. Where do I go? How does it all work? All the information is at scene.ca slash music. We set up a landing page. Now, to be totally honest, it's a bit of a slow start. We had a, a really awesome launch event um, in late August where we featured the beaches and uh, as well as Valley and Saloon at the rec room in Toronto. It was an empty empty venue live experience that was streamed online exclusively to, exclusively to see members when they, they tuned in to watch us. And it was one of those types of events that you either were there watching it um, live or you missed it. And uh, and we'll be featuring a lot more like that in the future. Um, we're just in the middle now of, of working towards our next act, which we're hoping to launch in early October, likely. But I'm uh, I'm not allowed to share the, the specific details with you because contracts have not been signed. But there's definitely something coming up. And we have put together a number of of what we're calling breakthrough music um, playlists on Spotify as well, which are self-selected by by C music artists, and, uh, and you can check those out on C Spotify account. Why was this important for you guys to put together? As you said, you planned on doing this before the pandemic. Why was it important to have this? Well, the theme program has been traditionally really rooted in in movies, as I'm sure you know, with our uh, ownership with both Cineplex and Scotiabank. Um, and we've been bringing movies and uh, offering scene points for, for movie watches for a long time now. We felt like music was just the next thing to break into. Uh, you might be aware as well, we launched a partnership with the NBA last year. So it, it's really just an effort to break into some different entertainment verticals that are are you know widely appealing for Canadians and uh, and trying to offer more within the program. Here's the thing I'm going to add into this too for folks who may not realize this: you guys have actually set up another venue for indie artists to perform at because, as we know, um, which has just been because of the pandemic, it's just been hard struck. Some of our most iconic venues are being shut down. I mean, as we speak, there's even talk about Sneaky D's in Toronto may not be around anymore because of a, uh, somebody wanted to build a condominium in that area. Because we're losing so many venues, you guys, and I say thank you for that, have been able to present another venue, be able to present indie artists who 
uh, late, later on have become big superstars. Um, the uh, Beaches, great example, Juno Award winners. Yeah, and, and they were so fantastic to work with, and their music is, is really, really awesome. I had the privilege of being there live in person, of course, when we did that, that show. And I have to say, it felt so good to, to be listening to some live music again. We, uh, we did our best to bring that to life, you know, to a virtual format, and, and people were really happy with it. So, so hopefully we can continue to do that. So how do we keep in touch to know what is going to be happening in October and in future uh, virtual performances? What do we do? What do we follow? Where do we get all our information? Well, you uh, you can just keep checking in to scene.ca slash music. But to be honest, the best thing to do is sign up to become a scene member if you aren't one. And you can even do that by downloading the scene app. That'll get you onto our email list. And uh, and we'll be sure to be notifying people when there's events in their area. Um, there are lots of rec room locations across the country. And we'll be focusing a little bit with them um, for, for the, the immediate future to you know, have have some live music again just as soon as they're they're able and allowed to start having fans in to to watch live shows. Now that would likely be done initially with just sort of cabaret style seating, where you you have to stay seated, um, you know, to to watch the show. It won't be sort of a a massive rock concert that we'll be doing. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I'd say see that say slash music or just sign up and then stay tuned to your email. And just so you know, I'm a scene member. So there you go. And yes, I do get the email. So uh, amazing. Thank you so much for making time for speaking with me. And thank you so much for what you guys are doing for uh, for music in general. And just thank you so much for keeping us, you know, occupied and not having to think about some of the tough things that we're going through. Thank you again for everything that you guys are doing. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Take care. We'll talk soon. <laughs> you too. Bye. Bye-bye.